Hello, Peter from Divi Engine, and thank you for coming along this tutorial with us. Uh, we've gone through, you know, creating the site from scratch, and this is the final video just to kind of break down what I've done and, um, and possible thoughts on how you, on how you can improve it. Uh, so here's kind of a home page that I've been mocking up. This will be available as a template once I've finished the design. Uh, I'm not quite happy with it at the moment, and the product is about to be launched. So. Divi Machine's about to be launched, so I'm just going to wait a little bit, but probably that by the time you're watching this, this layout will be available for you. So, there's a couple of things I've done from the past, from the previous videos, I've made the search box into, you know, the square, I've kept it all the same. Um, I've changed the custom loop layout quite a bit, I've made the image full, full width, I've added this tag button, which looks like, you know, it's quite nice because it gives you a bit of an idea. I've added, you know, a repeater module here. Um, then what else I've done is I've I've gone ahead and I've added some more on the product page, product page, single page. But I think I'm gonna for the actual final final uh, download it'll be very different. But the reason why I wanted to do this like final thoughts video is I want to kind of show you what I've done with this in case you wanted to replicate the same. So in the Divi library in the loop layout this is the custom loop layout i've i've changed it a bit uh to separate the two so what i've done is i've first of all i've added the post meta module so these over here are tags and i've given them all tags like new cheap uh new sale you know you can change that and over here i've done a post tag sorry post meta and in there add a new post meta item and I've chosen tags then I've done link items I've removed the label and I've also made it into a button and then in the design tab I've customized the button okay so I've done that then what I've done is in the post meta I've gone to advanced position and I've given it an absolute position, pushed the top left, done 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and I've also changed the font size of the button to make it a bit smaller. You, you will notice there'll be an issue with it not showing, so you need to push the Z, Z index up, which will then push it above the thumbnail. So you can see it's above the thumbnail, there's 10 pixels over there, there's 10 pixels over there, and it's a nice little button now. If you click on it, it'll then take you to the tags page. Now you can see this tags page is not set up, uh, but that would be in the Divi theme builder. Uh, in here, cars, what we need. All cars tags pages. And I'm just going to copy that for now, paste it in there, so you can just see it will then show the correct. So there. So if you click on new, take me to the new one and so on okay so going back here going back here okay so let's just search and so I'm on the main page so the other thing I've done is I've made this row over here that I've separated these into two rows the first row I've done this, the sizing of 100% of the row, and the second one I've left it at 80%. So you can see how I've made, you know, the image 100% of the width. And if I inspect this, you, I've shown you this trick in the previous videos, but you can see this row, ETPB row is 100%, and this one over here, it's got those orange margins which is because of the 80% width so that's uh, looking quite nice I then added a repeater module as well and in here I've just added two uh, one named doors and one named gearbox and in there I just you know I chose the gearbox and I've added the image Update that. So that's how you can get really creative with your custom loop layouts. But I just wanted to share that with you, my final thoughts. 
I'm going to be, excuse me, I'm going to be improving this layout for you. I'm going to be adding uh, quite a few different features over here uh, to really make, to really improve this layout before I release it to you. I was kind of rushing to get it done before the product for the TV machine launch, but I think it's not fair. So these are my final thoughts uh, on on how you can extend a bit further. As you can see in this little space of time, I've I've I'm quite happy with these card layouts. Uh, and I just need to improve the other elements of the store or of, of the car listing website. So again, thank you so much for, for purchasing Divi Machine. You, you, you're really hoping to support us and the developments of this plugin and other plugins. Uh, if you have any questions, please can you, you get in contact. The best way to do that is to email support at DiviEngine.com or fill up the contact form on our website for support yeah and we are here to help so any questions please get in touch and I hope you have a great day and I hope Divi Machine will help you with your adventures and make you guys more money or make uh, yeah just make you more money whatever you're doing whether it's your DIY website or whether you're building for your own uh, customers so we'll speak soon and uh, yeah have a great day